I love supporting the Broadway community. I, um, I love being in New York. I'm so thrilled that I happen to be here this weekend, and I'm happy to support the opening of this play. I think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, this is my one night uh, where I'm able to see other plays. Sunday night, so uh, you know, so my my one night only. It's a one-time event for me, so I, I leap into the opportunity. I always like to see a new Yasmin Razor, and I miss it in London. So I'm very glad to see it tonight. My friend Christopher Hampton has adapted it, and Matthew Warchus, who's another friend, has directed it. So I, I'm looking forward with uh, unspeckled um, trepidation. I'm most excited for Yasmina Reza, who wrote this play who's, uh, I think, a brilliant playwright. I was in her play, Art, here in this theater on, on Broadway. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to these actors. They're, they're wonderful actors. The combination of uh, those four people together. I know Marcia Gay very well. I know James. I've met Jeff, and I don't know Hope. But I have Hope. Oh, uh, Marcia invited me to come, and, uh, and the play sounds so interesting. I, I wanted a good laugh tonight. I did this play in London, so I can't wait to see it. I'm, gonna, I'm very She's excited. She's going to prompt them it. if they go wrong. <laughs> yeah. She's going to scream the lines from the back. <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean made aware of his responsibility? I'm sure your son is not a savage. Of course, Benjamin isn't a savage. Yes, he is. Alan. <laughs> Why say something like that? He's a savage. Well, how does he explain his behavior? He doesn't want to discuss it. But he ought to discuss it. He ought to do any number of things. He ought to come here. He ought to discuss it. He ought to be sorry for it. Clearly, you have parenting skills that put us to shame. We hope to improve, but in the meantime, please bear with us. <laughs> show about two couples who've had a, a, a their children have had an altercation and the parents are coming together to discuss it and uh, uh, they don't see eye to eye I have definitely I wouldn't say got into it but I got polite in it with other other mothers and um, you know there's nothing more uncomfortable than confronting another parent about what's wrong with their kid and not yours you know and that's the perspective that we all take I mean the way it starts was very calm level and gets wilder and wilder and wilder until it's completely hysterical. That's real skit, that's real playwriting skill. You know, and Yasmina is the most successful French dramatist for the last 30 years, and uh, if she goes on writing like this, she'll stay that way. When I turn up and I say I want to do a play in London by her or in New York, the best actors come forward and so it's, it's, it's easier than you would think to, to find the right people. The cast has really hit it off and uh, it, on stage the chemistry just feels great for all of us. It's just one of those things where everything kind of came together. And Matthew Warchus, our director, has been, uh, is, been so amazing to work with. It's been a real joy for all of us. It's really fun and it, um, it feeds you, you know, it doesn't exhaust you because the audience is right there enjoying it and giving so much back that it, it, it really feeds you. And it also is about something, it's important, but it's not pedantic. And so it feels like more than, you know, just farce or like a quote, silly comedy. It feels like you're really getting something from it. Everybody scores in this. And when you, you, it becomes this, this traffic jam of people trying to score. And, and it's, and it's wonderful because the script won't let everybody score all the time. You, you win, you lose, and when you lose, you lose miserably. And it's great fun for actors. It's just to go face first into it and boom, and then get, get Marcia Gay Harden to give you a right. It's just, it's great fun. Well, Matthew Warchus, brilliant director, we're so lucky, describes it as a um, comic tragedy. So I, that's how I think of it now, a comic tragedy. It's saying something about human nature that we try to pretend isn't true, that inside all of us is a, is a beast kind of waiting to erupt. Um, but yeah, the audience experiences it as a kind of a, I mean, they, the laughter is, it's really enjoyable for us to watch the audience kind of, the laughter roll back and forth. But it's also quite sort of thought provoking. I think it's one of those plays where couples in the cab on the way home are either silent thinking about the applications to their own lives or maybe having a little quarrel themselves. The audience has no idea what we're doing, what we're going to do next. It's so random, the, the storyline, and, and uh, they're just like, oh my god. And a lot of the audience is going, you know, I felt that way. I thought about that, never said it. 
and now I'm watching people who are actually saying it. Last night there were some ladies who wanted to see some blood. They were in the front row clapping their hands and they, they wanted to see some real scratching. Yeah, it doesn't happen, but I think worse things happen. Than that.